Here I have my web page. Here's my head section, style section. There's the body. Move this up, you can see it. In the body, I have the words click, then a link. There's my A tag, address tag. It says the H reference, the HTML reference is youtube.com user Hoboken Gare. And then here, which is the link, followed by the address, end address tag from my YouTube site. End of the body. I want to alter this. How do I do that? I go up to where it says style. In between styles, the style tags, I do the following. I have I have a selector A. I'm going to affect the address tag over here. First here. A. Link. I want uh Mr. A, um I would like you to decorate the text of this link. Really? How? I want it to have none. And uh, I want it to have none. In other words, I don't want to have any underlines there, anything like that. I don't want it to have the typical stuff. And I want the font size to be 36 points, 36 pixels. And, and it is, right there. Now, close curlies. I do it again. Furthermore, Mr. A, when somebody has visited that site, I want you to change the color of that guy, colon, to red. That's the here part. That's going to get changed to the color red. I've gone there many times now, so it's now red. So this is working. Next. Mr. A, yes, if anybody hovers over that, that link right there, I want you to change the color of the text to black. And I want the background, background color, colon, to be yellow, semicolon. And then, well, let's see if it does that. Oh, it does. Text for color is black background color is yellow and i want i want you to i want a little bit of decoration on that text i want it to be underlined whenever anybody hovers over that so when i hover over that not clicking yellow background black foreground and underlined as you can see now mr a yes when it becomes active somebody clicks on it holds it down doesn't let go Holds it, holds down the mouse button. I want you to change the background color to purple. That's all. Huh. So I've, so I've set these conditions. I, I've, I've set the system to react differently under different conditions. All right. Let's see this in action. I did a file save already. Okay. I did it again. And I'm refreshing. And so I visited there already. It's red. There's no underlining. So text de decoration is none. And I hover my mouse over it. You can see when it's, oh, by the way, when it's visited, the color is red. And it's red. I hover the mouse over it. It's going to be black, yellow background, and the underline. Let's do that. Black foreground, yellow background, underline. Now, when it becomes active, you click on it, it's going to turn purple in the background. Okay, let's do that now. I'm going to click now, and oh, it turned purple. I let go. It goes back to normal color, but it's going there. And now I'm at YouTube at the George Bull site. There he is. That's me, George Bull. What do you know? If I go back, there we go again. Hover over, becomes yellow background, black foreground, and underlined again. Just as we stated here. That's the hover state. So, that's all I have to say for now. 
I want to thank you so much for listening. This is George Paul. Bye-bye now.